most on how to do this so I figure I'm just gonna do a you know straight up tutorial of what basically this person um oh my god shut up computer this is uh basically all the steps that are required and it's really not a lot and honestly it's easy and I actually stumbled um, upon a few problems along the way which is why I figured maybe a tutorial like this would definitely help some of you who might not really understand what to do so first off you need windows and the way I run windows on my Mac is through parallels so unfortunately that's really the only way I know how to do this now so this is basically just gonna be for anyone who has windows and would like to do it so um, I've got all my stuff organized on my desktop in this little folder right here so I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff real quick because this is what I did before oh well that is clearly not what I'm supposed to do oh my goodness where is my mouse alright there it is uh, I just gotta delete these two and basically we're gonna start from scratch here and I'm going to delete the ROM as well because that's been edited and I'm just gonna get a new copy of it really quick from my ROMs folder so it's always best for you to have everything all in one place and always have a backup have a backup ROM in case you mess up obviously you need a ROM to do this you can't do this on a fl not a flash on the actual game cartridge so keep everything in one folder because you're going to end up having quite a few files um, that you're going to have to work with so first of all you want to have your ROM and keep a backup of your ROM just in case you somehow run into some problems along the way so it's always best to have a backup uh, for anything really and the programs that I'm going to be using, I'm going to leave in the description. And I'm going to upload them all to like RapidShare or something. You can just download them easily from there. So, um, first, you want to go into Nitro Explorer. And what this is going to do, um, you're going to load your ROM and you're going to be extracting the NARC file that you're going to have to edit. So, you just click on your. Um, your ROM and then you'll see this uh, root along with all these folders you want to go into the A folder under 0 and then 0 again and then you see the 4 and this is going to be the file that you want to extract from the ROM right now so you can see the little extract button right up here and you can easily do that and be sure to title it for with the NARC extension because I didn't do this the first time and I kinda ran into a few problems later on because I didn't do this so you can close uh, your Explorer for now and uh, keep everything in one place you'll be better off that way and now you wanna go into console tool and start that up in order to start up console tool um, you need to have Java a JavaScript environment or Java something so um, otherwise it won't work because this is a dot jar file I believe so um, make sure you have that installed it's free on the like if you just Google search it you can get a free download of it if you for some reason do not have it so you are left with basically a blank screen right now so what you want to do is you want to open the NARC file that you just downloaded and like I said if you keep everything all in one place it'll be easy to find and you open the NARC file so this is where I'm gonna basically explain what goes on here the first one through nineteen are basically question marks you do not touch those you don't need to touch those and then starting from 20 that's where the first Pokemon is and that would be Bulbasaur in this case so uh, each Pokemon is assigned another it has a set of 20 files 
So Bulbasaur would go from 20 to 39. And 38 and 39 right here are the palette options. Number 38 would be the non-shiny and number 39 would be the shiny. So um, when you understand that, logically, if you want to find a Pokemon, a certain Pokemon from a Pokedex, I'll take Milotic for instance. Milotic is number 350 in the Pokedex. So you multiply 350 by 20 and you'd get 7,000. So you just scroll through this whole list until you reach 7,000. Oh, I went way too far. Oh my goodness. I'm already in the tens. You see, nine, eight. Uh, there. Whoa, we skipped over it. I didn't bother seeing if there's a search option, but yeah. You'll see that if you go to 7,000 right now, that is going to be the Milotic. And that is going to apply to any other Pokemon um, that you want to get. I only use Milotic as an example because it's my favorite. So. The first thing I want to do is, once I hit 7,000, I know the next 20 files, up until you see the two, like, um, what do you call it, paint uh, palette things, up until there, I know all of those are going to apply to my Lodic. So what I want to do is edit the non-shiny one first, and this is going to be your palette for it. So the next four files that you need are going to end in one and three which is going to be uh the front sprite and then you're going to need nine and eleven for the back sprite and that's all you need you have all your four files and then you have the palette so easily you can click any one of these things um these three are going to be the body you have to basically you know just use your eyes and see which ones are going to apply to the body so um, the tans in this case would apply to the body and um, the blues would apply to you know the tail and whatnot so you just have to basically eyeball it and you know I'm just gonna quickly edit it you can also look up a hex generator online which is gonna help you generate colors if you want like a specific color as opposed to toying with um, the bars right on the right side here so um, if you align all the bars, it's basically going to be any shade of gray. I'm just using that as an example right now. So, you know, right now that looks kind of ugly. And also keep in mind that the colors go from light to dark because um, they're highlights. So you kind of want to follow that same pattern in order to achieve um, the highlights and the shadows of your Pokemon. So try and keep that consistent i'm just going for gray right now as an example and as you can tell uh, it doesn't look that well now in combination with everything else but you can tell that uh, it has shadows it has uh, the base and it has highlights and if you want to edit the hair which i'm assuming is going to be these two right here i think it's going to be these two these two are probably going to be the hair. I'm just going to toy around and find a random color. Um, I'm not really going for like a good effect here, but I'm just playing around. Uh, and like I said, keep in mind the lights and the darks, you know, fall in order. So you kind of want to keep with that. Uh, keep with that pattern. And you can see I changed the hair color now. And see, once you change it for one, it's going to apply to the rest. So right now, um, let's say this is going to be basically your, um, what do you call it? Sorry about the dog in the background. Jesus Christ. So basically, um, let's theoretically say this is going to be your palette you want this um right now i know it's not very appealing but through three eh, i can't even get that word out of my mouth theoretically this is going to be your palette so what you want to do now is you want to be in the palette tab and you see this little arrow right above here and it's going to have export and what you want to do is title this dot ncrl and 
what you're gonna want to do then is put it with the rest of the crap keep it neat so you don't get your files all around the place so um, don't edit the number you're gonna need that number so that's dot ncrl or l I cannot type <clears throat> actually the yeah it's ncrl it's right there so I always like adding the extension just in case so saving that to my folder and um, actually I probably shouldn't have done that no, I think it's going to... Oh, screw it. I think it's going to have the same effect. So, you don't need that program anymore. What you're going to need now is Crystal Tile 2. So, you're going to want to open that and run. So, once this program boots up, what you're going to want to do is... Well, wait for it to boot up. Okay. Well, it's only taking so long because I'm running Mac and Windows at the same time here. It's awful. So what you want to do here is file, open, and then this is where um, you really wanted to make sure that you uh, set the NARC file as a NARC extension. So you're going to open that and uh, you're going to have this little uh, box pop up and it's going to take a while and it's going to load all all of basically whatever this uh, file contains and what you want well we'll wait what you're gonna want to do then you don't need to see it, you can ignore the gray box behind this but what you're gonna want to do now is um, remember the number that your palette was mine was what is it seven zero one eight so I'm gonna have to look for that right under here you see four dash whatever, so I'm gonna try and look for four dash seven zero one eight. Let's say seven. I'm getting closer. I went past it. I all right, almost and sixteen. And 1-8, you can tell that it's also a palette, so, um, because you saved it as a NCLR, you're going to be good to go as you just import, and then just import the 07018, or whatever number applies to you. And, wow, okay, I apparently have to close the other program before you do this, alright, you can close that then. Uh, okay, so let's try that one more time. Import that, open, and then it'll load and restart and update. You don't have to do anything after you import it except for just go to file and save. And then your NARC file should have been saved. And what you do then is you minimize all this crap and then you have to go back to your NARC file, get rid of the NARC at the end, and click OK, and then you just go back to Nitro Explorer, and what you want to do is just import it back in. So run that, load ROM, Pokemon Black, open, and then you have to find A, 0, zero four again and then reinsert and then reinsert that narc file and you're good replace successfully then I presume you would like to test it so so once it loads what you want to do is the usual you want to import backup memory and just find any old save file that obviously has, you know, the Pokemon that you edited. Hopefully, I'll have a Milotic in the box. That's the only reason I did it, because I figured I'm probably going to have it. Uh, mm -mm -mm. 
Let's try this one. Then you reset and see how it goes. Skip all the boring stuff. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There is my sprite. And let me go to my deposit box. <sighs> I like to never leave this Pokemon Center anymore. Like the minute I walk out, it's going to be like spring, summer, winter, fall. Like whole years past. So let me go find my Pokemon. Hopefully I have my Lodic. If I don't, then I'll be surprised. There we go. Okay, let's see. I shall go to move. And I have way too many little cup pokes. I'm going to be going through like 10 boxes of little cup pokes. Oh, wow, I didn't actually mean that, but apparently we are. Wow. Okay, let's see. Do we have any Milotic here? No! What are you doing? Cancel. Oh. There is a Milotic. And it worked! <laughs> and it looks really bad, but that's about it, guys. It's actually really simple, so um, if you have any questions, I guess, um, if anything I said wasn't clear enough, you can feel free to ask, and, uh... As always, I love you guys, and have fun, I guess, changing the colors of stuff if you want to, so, and that's about it. Bye!